This is solving a systems of equations, <clears throat> which is a parabola and a line. If you see this, this is a quadratic equation, and quadratic equations always give you a parabola, and this is a line. So there is going to be two solutions. This is an actual region's question. So first, <clears throat> we'll tackle the quadratic equation. So we know that we need a starting point. Actually, it's the place where the parabola turns around. So we have x is equal to minus b over 2a. And b is 6, so minus b is minus 6. Uh, a is minus 1, so 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. So therefore, this is positive 3. So that is our middle point. And I always put an arrow there. And then we go 4, 5, 6, we go 3 above and 3 below. So now, what we do is we take these values of x, we plug them into the equation to find our y. And remember, this is not minus 3 squared, which would be a positive 9. This is minus 3 squared, or 4 squared, or 5 squared. So you have to square the number first, then put a minus in front of it. So 3 squared is 9, so this is minus 9. 3 times 6 is 18, and bring down our minus 3. So this is a positive 9 minus 3, that's positive 6. 4 squared is 16, the minus goes in front. 4 times 6 is 24, and bring down our minus 3. This is a positive 8 minus 3, that's positive 5. 5 squared is 25, we put a minus in front. Uh, 5 times 6 is 30, bring down our negative 3. So this is a positive 5 minus 3, so that's 2. And then finally, uh, this is 36 with a negative in front of it. This is also 36, so these cancel out, and all we're left with is negative 3. Now, if you remember, because this is a parabola and this is the middle, these numbers just repeat. So I get a 5, a 2, a minus 3 here. So now, I can graph this. I have 0, negative 3, 1, 2, 2, 5, 3, 6, 4, 5, 5, 2, and 6, negative 3. And there is our parabola. So now we're going to tackle the line. Now, I always tell my students, just to make it easy on yourself, you don't have to do this, but I like the x and the y on opposite sides of the equal sign. It just makes it easier. And because this is a line, all I have to do is just choose some random values for x and, f and plug them in and find out what y is. And I usually pick minus 2, 0, and 2. So if minus x, if x is minus 2, minus a minus 2 is a positive 2. 2 plus 7 is 9. If x is 0, y is 7. And if x is minus 2, minus 2 and a positive 7 is a positive 5. So now I have my line. I have minus 2, 9, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. I have 0, 7, and I have 2, 5. And guess what? 2, 5, that is one of the points which is a solution. So I already have one of the solutions there. And I draw my line, and we usually label these minus x squared plus 6x minus 3. That's my parabola and my line is x plus y is equal to 7. My solutions here are 2, 5, and over here, guess what, this is 5, 2, and that's it. If you if you have a question like this on the regions, and this is in the part 2, 3, and 4 section of the regions, and you do it exactly this way, you will get full credit. So parabola, we plotted our points, we found our, our middle point, we plugged in all the other points, got our parabola, then our line, plotted our line, and we labeled where the, uh, the two meet. There's two answers at 2, 5, and 5, 2. And that is how you solve this.